What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our tear on the rank regulation G ladder, but this time using Blaziken. Now it's kind of a coincidence because in my previous video, we showcased Swampert, and now in today's video, we're using Blaziken back-to-back -back videos with Hoenn starters. I know you guys like the off-meta picks, and Blaziken definitely a top-tier off-meta pick, so hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. But let's talk about Blaziken a little bit. It has speed boost as its ability, so at the end of every single turn, it is going to go plus one on speed. Now, after about two turns, this Pokemon is usually the fastest on the field, so I absolutely love this ability. Furthermore, Blaziken's rocking the White Herb to negate any stat drops, especially due to close combat. It also has Blaze Kick for Stab, Sword Stance to set up, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. To pair up with Blaziken, we have Groudon, sets the sun, making Blaze Kick do a ridiculous amount of damage. Groudon obviously has the best item for him, the Clear Amulet, with the Fire Tire type, and then it's rocking Crystal Ice Blades, Protect, Heat Crash, and Rock Slide. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature some meta picks. You got Rillaboom, you got Clefairy for support, you got Rage Bolt and Tornadus. Tornadus is going to be great for speed control. Rage Bolt with a Life Orb going to be big time special attacking damage. And then Rillaboom, got that terrain control, can fake out, can grass glide, all that good stuff. If you guys want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Speed Boost Blaziken. Now, before we get started with our first match, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator and a longtime viewer, my boy Chris. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys want to check, check out this team more in details, Pokepates will be linked down in the description below. So definitely go check it out. But we're going up against a Miraidon Trick Roomish team. In match number one, they got Miraidon, Iron Hands, Ursa Luna, Farigaraf, Fluttermane, and last but not least, rocking out with Fire Ogre Pond. Now, something that stands out to me is no weather control. That's good for us because we could just lead Sun and kind of just keep going with Sun, right? We definitely want to want to bring Rollboom just for terrain purposes, and I think a good Pokemon for us could maybe just be a Tornado Sleep, because we can just taunt. Actually, we can't taunt. I was going to say, we could taunt for a graph, but it turns into a first turn priority move, and then we're not allowed to do that, because for a graph has Armor Tail. But I do like having Rollboom. Um, I could go Blaziken for lead. I feel like Blaziken for a backhand Pokemon might be a little bit better for us, so I might want to do that. I kind of wish we had Focus Sash. Focus Sash is definitely the best item for Blaziken. Um, hmm. Who do I lead here? Groudon, I think it's just an awesome lead. I could lead Tornadus. I could just lead Raging Bolt. I could just lead Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt's not a bad lead here. Um, it does get a Protosynthesis boost. Now, is that a special attack? It is. So, this thing's... I like this thing. I'm going to go Raging Bolt, Groudon, and bring Boyskin in the back end with Rollboom. I think that's just in our best interest here. I really do, because I think they're going to go into a tr more of a Trick Room side of things, rather than just a normal Miraidon thing, so I think bringing Tornadus isn't really going to be in our best interest, so I kind of like this. I like this Raging Bolt build. His <laughs> special attack boost is at 205 with Pro Synthesis, with Life Orb. I love it. They're going to end up going into both of these guys. I don't mind that. Um, I could go into Thunderclap. Um... He's got to fake out the ground on. That's just an absolute must. You have to fake out the ground on. You have to fake out the ground on. So we get that post synthesis boost. I might terrestrialize the Raging Bolt here. I mean, fairy moves are looking a little scary. Uh, definitely want to go for Blades here. I will take the Accuracy Chance, and I am going to terrestrialize. And do I just go for a Thunderclap and look to KO? I think Thunderclaps are play here. I really do, because I think we can one-shot this uh, Fluttermane with this Electric Terror boost. And if I could just get rid of it without taking damage, that'd be massive. Because if I had to guess one thing, he's definitely going into a fake out into the ground on slot. And then just going for it, what's it called? Probably a Dazzle Gleam or even a Moon Blast. I would think Dazzle Gleam fake out. I think that would be the call. So we Terrasize, we go for the Thunderclap. We're trying to make a nice little call here. We could have just went for Thunderbolt and played it safe, but we're going for Thunderclap. So yeah, there's the fake out in the ground on. Thunderclap's going to fly. Can this KO? That's the real question. You might be sashed. You might be sashed, and you're not sashed and we don't KO. Actually, we, you could have been sashed, but we don't know. There's that. Moonblast going to fly in this slot. You leave Groudon at full HP. We love that. So now he's probably sitting here like, hey, he's probably going to uh, Thunderclap me. I might want to swap. So I'm just going to go into Blades here again, and if they're going to swap at anybody, I would think it would be like Ursa Luna. Right? That makes more sense. So I'm thinking of just Dragon Pulse and doubling down into Iron Hands here. That's my play. That's my play. I feel like you have to swap or protect Fluttermane here. And you don't do either. You're going to just terrestrialize somebody. Who's getting the Terror-type? 
It's gonna be Iron Hands. So Iron Hands gets the Terror type. He is gonna go into Grass. So we're Dragon Pulse him. We're going into Blades in that slot. And Flutterman, are you protecting? I feel like you have to be protecting. You do protect. Cool. Great place for us. Great place for us. Yeah, I kind of knew that that Flutterman wasn't staying on too long. So we go to a Grass Terror, which I don't mind. I mean, I have Blades. Can I have Heat Crash ready to go as well? First Spice Blade is going to do like negative 5 damage right there. Dragon Pulse, how much damage are you doing? That's the real question. That's some solid damage. That's not bad. So I lose some damage due to... Ooh, due to what's it called? Due to Life Orb. And I think from here, we just go for Thunderclap into Flutterman. Because I don't think he's going to hard swap out Flutterman. I really don't. We'll go for Heat Crash. Um, and we'll go for that Thunderclap. We'll go for that Thunderclap play. We'll go for it now. I don't think he swaps what I mean, especially at this low HP. Yep, see, cool. So, Thunderclap, gonna work wonders. We're gonna KO the Flutter main. We're gonna also KO ourselves, our own Raging Bolt, with this, uh, with the Life Orb damage. And then hopefully Heat Crash can do some damage. I mean, Heat Crash is based on weight, isn't it? And I mean, Iron Man is pretty heavy Pokemon. It's a pretty heavy Pokemon, but I mean, it's, it's in the sun. It's in the sun, it's gonna be super effective. How much damage does Heat Crash do? How much damage you got? Not enough, but still, nice chunk of damage there. Drain Punch gonna fly, another Heat Crash will KO. So now we're sitting here in the sun, I could just bring out Blaziken. I mean, Blaziken can really thrive out here, I can get a speed boost. Um, and save our Roll Boom, because I think Roll Boom's gonna have to be saved. I really do. So I'm gonna go into our Blaziken, look to get things cooking here. Let's see who they go into. It's gonna be the Ogre Pond. Alright, so the Ogre Pond comes out onto the field, I don't mind that too much. I am scared of the Horn Leech, let's be honest here. I am scared of the Horn Leech. So I might just protect you this turn. Then who do I get rid of? Who do I get rid of? Do I get rid of Iron Hands or do I just go after Ogre Pond? They don't have Terror. You could Spiky Shield. I, I see you more so going for a Horn Leech into the Ground Onslaught. So I'm just going to go after you and just KO you. That's going to be my play. So I just protect the ground on. Play it smart. Try to get my speed up. I'm pretty sure Blaze can outspeed him all right now. And he doesn't. So this was actually a good protect. He ends up going for Ivy Cudgel over like a Horn Leech. Which works in our favor because now I can Blaze Kick here. I KO. I go plus one on speed. And now I should be the fastest on the field. I should be the fastest on the field with full HP. Which is good. Alright. So in the sun, Blaze Kick just does a big chunk of damage. Let's see who they end up bringing out here. If it is Miraidon, we might just hard swap Groudon. Just to change terrain, and then another thing could be uh, to reset the sun later. So I think we're just going to protect Blaziken and swap into this. Mm. Yeah, I just want to get rid of terrain. I think terrain's important here. I mean, you could be going for an Ivy Cudgel into that slot. That is a possibility. If you KO me, you KO me, but I just think... Resetting the sun is good for us, and on top of that, changing terrain is massive. So I'm going to swap in uh, Roboom for Groudon, and I'm just going to protect my Blaziken. Play this one slow for us. We just we just don't want this terrain out here. We just do not want this terrain out here. So out comes Roboom. Again, they could go for Ivy Cudgel to KO us, but I need his terrain swapped. And he's going to Spiky Shield, so that's fine. That's fine. So now we get off a Fake Out turn. Now we get off a fake out turn, which is huge, and we protect our blaze again. Nice little protect on blaze again. Who I think they're actually attacking. Now you're gonna go Draco Meteor to suck. Can you soak this? You do. That is wonderful. So now Miraidon is out of the terrain. It's minus two special attack, and Ogre Pond just used its spiky shield last turn. So it's not gonna probably, it's probably not gonna spiky shield this turn. So I'm gonna fake out, and honestly, I'm just gonna double down into it with a blaze kick here. I'm just gonna double right down into it. Attack this thing. Because again, now Miraidon's really not that big of a threat. Minus two, no terrain. It's not doing too much. So we fake out the Ogre Pond. We go for a Blaze Kick into it. Doing some nice damage. And he's going to end up going for a Draco Meteor into you. Which honestly will still do nice damage. Now you're minus four. Now you're minus four. And Ogre Pond's flinching. So now I got some speed cooking. Um, You could Spiky Shield. What am I going to do here? I could swap into Groudon. I could swap into Groudon, but I don't think another Draco Meteor's KO me, so... Honestly, yeah, let's just swap into Groudon. Let's reset the sun, and let's just look to KO Ogre Pond here. 
Let's just look the KO over pun, because this this thing's not doing a lot of damage. Unless you get a crit. Unless you get a crit me ride on. So I'm swapping back into Groudon. I want that Sun just to make sure his Ogre Pond dies out here. It could Spiky Shield. I mean, that is an option, but it's not going to. So Blaze Kick just going to finish it off. Beautiful. Me ride on sitting here on the field. Minus four, no terrain. That's GG's. Match number one, going to the Blaziken squad. Yep, this Draco Meteor isn't even KO me. Now you're minus six. Now you got nothing going for you. Not a, not a single thing going for you. Awesome, yo. Blaziken getting after it. No Swords Dance needed, too. Just using them. The funny thing is, Blaziken's actually a big Pokemon, but look how small it looks next to me, Rhydon, and, uh, and Groudon. It looks so tiny. Blaziken's actually a bigger Pokemon, but they cancel this match. We start things off 1-0. Match number two coming at you guys. Looking to go back-to-back -back here, but the funny thing is, every time I use Groudon, I always feel like I'm going up against Kyogre teams. We have ourselves a Weather War here in match number two. They got a pretty standard team with Kyogre, Urshifu, Ursaluna, Regilecki, Tornadus, and Frigraph, so very meta team right here. So we definitely want weather control, so we want to bring probably Tornadus and Groudon. Just double down with that, and I think that is going to be our best option. Another good Pokemon for us is going to be Raging Bolt. Going to be super effective onto that Urshfu, if that is Water Urshfu. Could be Dark and Fighting Urshfu. Uh, it's going to be super effective onto the Tornadus, and especially that Kyogre. So I just think going into maybe just like Tornadus here is a solid lead with the raging bolt actually hmm, do i even want blaziken here i was gonna bring blaziken i don't even want blaziken here i'd rather go Rillaboom, raging bolt and groudon i think that's in our best interest so to be honest i think we just go these two go you and then you yeah i'm all about that i'm all about that so blaziken thrive that match number one we'll try to use you in match number three but for match number two we don't need you here it just seems like we're better off going in with these with the group of pokemon that we do have Especially up against a meta squad. Oh, man. This seems tough. This team seems like it's going to be tough. Regilecki, super fast. Tornadus, great support. Well, probably the best support per one in the game at the moment. Um, Kyogre, cannot allow that thing to go first because then it's just going to Origin Pulse you in the rain or Water Spout. So that's why I want to bring two Weather Poop. Got my Tornadus. I got my Groudon. We control Weather pretty well. But they're going to end up leading Kyogre and Tornadus. Just a simple lead here. Um... We got Robum on the field, so we're pretty much forcing him to Terrasalize. I think just faking out... I just think faking out Kyogre here and setting up a Tailwind is in our best interest. I doubt you go for a Bleak Wind Storm here. I mean, I could honestly just taunt you. I could honestly taunt you. How fast is my Tornadus? That's a real question, because I would love to taunt that thing. He's not... He, he's gonna be slower. He's gonna be slower. He's going to be slower, so I'm just going to set up a Tailwind here. I am just going to fake out the uh, Kai over here and just go from there. I would love to taunt the Tornadus. He's going to withdraw it anyway, so this actually works fine for us. This actually works fine, so we get some speed. We are going to go for a fake out in the Kai over here. He's going to throw out a Rigoraf. Our... We're in some trouble. We're in some trouble for Rigoraf. Out on the field early on here, and he's going to try into what type of straight water. Smart call for him. Alright, so we're going to be able to get off Tailwind, which is good. Um, hmm. We're going to get off Tailwind. He's going to KO my Tornadus. Rillaboom should survive this. And then I could just bring out, potentially just like Raging Bolt or something. Oh my god, Water Spells are terrifying. I could just bring a Groudon. Yeah, I probably should bring a Groudon. Wow. That damage to my Rillaboom, absurd. Absurd! Alright. All right, so my Tornadus is gone. I think we have to bring out Groudon here now. So we're going to bring out Groudon. Uh, we definitely want to go for Blades here because something that I think that they can do or most likely are going to do since we set up Tailwind is maybe go into a Trick Room with Ferrigoraf, right? So I think by going into Blades here and actually maybe just U-turn pivoting, I'm hoping we can pick up the KO. Or should I just go into Woodhammer here? Honestly, you would outspeed and be able to KO me. Um, we might just want to go for Grassy God here. Actually, I think we have a chance of soaking, especially in the sun. The rain really boosts it, so I'm going to go U-turn here. It's going to go for an ally switch. Okay, so ally switch pops out here. No trick room. So ally switches. Blades is going to fly here. Who's dodging blades? Who dodged blades? Who dodging blades? All right, at least we hit the Kyogre. That's good news. I'm able to U-turn pivot out here. Almost KO, too. Oh, most KO. So I'm going to bring out Raging Bolt. I'm scared if Ice Beam is flying into this slot. That is scary. 
And I kind of think it is. Or yeah, Ice Beam could fly into the Groudon. So we're going to Protosynthesis up. Um, special Attack is going to get heightened. He's going to stick with Water Spout, which is going to do no, no damage. This thing's choice. Okay, so that does no damage. Um, I think we swap Groudon this turn. Actually, no. We want to throw Blades. We really do want to throw Blades and double down to, for Graph. We definitely want to throw Blades. He might swap the Kyogre. I think a swap the Kyogre is probably the play, but... I'm just going to double down the Frig Graph here with my special attack height like this. I doubt you go for Ally Switch. We're going for Blades. We're going for Blades. Yeah, you are going to withdraw the Kyogre. I should have withdrew the Groudon. Just made that read. Because I think we need a big time read for us. But he's going to go back into Tornadus. Yep, saw that coming all day. And hopefully we can just KO for a Graph. KO and Frig Graph would be awesome. So Blades is going to come out here. It is going to land into the Frig Graph slot. Do some nice damage. Can Dragon Pulse get the job done? That's the real question. It does. Beautiful. Okay. So, Dragon Pulse gets the job done. They're probably going to throw back out Groudon. Well, not Groudon. Kyogre here. And if they do, I mean, we're just going to hard swap Groudon and then go, go into it like a Thunderclap. That's definitely your best interest. But if they don't, I mean, I don't mind staying out on the field here. Let's see, is this Kyogre? It is, yeah. So, we're just going to swap Groudon into Rillaboom. Um, just so we can have Weather later. Help out the squad. And we'll just throw a Thunderclap into Kyogre slot. Yeah, it's definitely my best bet. They want to go for Bleak Windstorm, they go for Bleak Windstorm. I think they more so go for uh, Tailwind this turn. Then maybe Bleak Windstorm the next turn, but I love Rage of Bolt here. So I'm going to swap Groudon. Save him for later. I'd rather sacrifice the Rule Room here. And just try to get some control of this weather. And he's going to withdraw Kyra. So that's actually a smart withdraw. Are you going in Tailwind here? That's the real question. But I mean, I would have a fake out turn on top of this, which is good. I'm going to go into Ursaluna. So, oh, Ursula Luna comes out here, Thunderclap gets blocked. And what are you going for? You're going to go for that Tailwind. So he sets up the Tailwind. Our speed is kind of low. Um, hmm. Huh. What is my play here? What is my play? Because my Tailwind's gone. I still have Terra, don't I? I do still have Terra, which is good news for us. And I think just like faking out the Ursula Luna here. And then Terrastal. Actually, we won't need a Terrastal like just yet. We can just go for an E-Web. I could fake out the Tornas, but you could be Cobra Cloak, so I'd rather just fake out the Ursuline here. And save our Terra for a second. Our Terra's only electric, so there's really no point of using it. We're just gonna go E Web here. I'm gonna go fake out into Ursuluna. He's gonna go for Bleak Wind Storm. He's gonna take out my Rillaboom. Now I'm able to get off E Web. So they're still gonna be faster than me due to Tailwind. Um. I should have just grassy glide the Ursaluna there. Yeah, probably should have. But then my Rage and Bolt dies out. That's what's tough about this. The so E-Web's going to fly. Actually do a good chunk of damage there. That's a great chunk of damage. And we get a speed drop. Well, obviously we get the speed drop. So now, this is where things get a little tricky. Because they have their choice Scarf Pokemon. And I really need Raging Bolt. I need Raging Bolt more than anything. In order to win this game. Because they're just going to throw back out Kyogre. They're going to get that weather. They're going to really get after it. Um, our best shot here is just doubling down in Ursaluna, right? I do have fire. These terror types just don't help us. These terror types just don't help us that I have. These terror types just don't help us. Our best bet is to just double down in Ursaluna. I mean, honestly... Maybe just protecting Raging Bolt this turn. Maybe going for a Blades. Because what are you going to be doing? A Bleak Wind Storm? You're going to be attacking Raging Bolt here. I'm just going to protect Raging Bolt. So we protect Raging Bolt here. Trying to play it slow. Trying to get rid of this Ursuline. Because I need my Raging Bolt. He's going to go for a Rain Dance. Which is no big deal. I mean, it only takes away my Protosynthesis. Which I kind of wanted to have. But better than nothing. So my Protosynthesis wears off. He's going to go for a Blood Moon into this slot. Instead of a Ground Moon. He knows I still have Terra, but what he doesn't know is I don't want to use Terra. Terra is just not looking good. Blades is going to fly here. Can it land in the Ursaluna? Oh my lord. Blades! 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 I, I, I think I just lost the game because of that. I think I just lost the game because of Blades there. Um, hmm. I have to just go in the Dragon Pulse here. 
There's no point of using either terror. That really hurts. I, I wanted to do damage with Blades there. I really needed it. He ends up protecting Tornadus, which is good news for us. And he might just still outspeed me here. He's going to go for Hyper Blades, which we should soak. Yeah, we do soak. Blades going to fly. Can I can I land a Blades, please? Thank you. Can I land a Blades, please? Thank you. Bro, I cannot land a Blades. I cannot land a Blades. I cannot land a Blades. Tailwind's gone. He's going to set up another one. I need a land of blades. We're gonna go blades here. We're just gonna protect you. I cannot land a blades. That's two blades we missed already. Ursaluna should be dead. Ursaluna should be dead. Kyogre should be on the field, and we should just be spamming thunderclaps after this thing. I'm gonna protect Rage of Bolt. Still looking to win this one. We still have a shot, but dude, this we should have won this match no problem already. Blades is gonna fly here. Can you land in Ursaluna, please? What just happened? I, I'm so confused. I missed three Precipice Blades in a row. Somebody do the math. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are the odds of me missing three Blades in a row? Kind of absurd. I know the chances are going to be low. It's just my RNG doing me dirty. But we played that one so well. We probably should have won that match. And we ended up losing it due to miss RNG. Just absurd. That was absurd. Maybe I should have just started going for Rock Slide. But I really wasn't expecting to miss three Blades in a row. Right? Definitely wasn't expecting to miss three blades in a row. That is crazy. But we're going up against Mirai on team here in match number three. We're one and one. Should be two and oh. But um, they got Incineroar. They got Wu Chen. They got Grimstar for screens. On top of that, they got that fish Pokemon. I can't even pronounce its name. And then <laughs> Sinisha. Okay. How are we playing this one? Do we give Groudon another chance? I don't even think we give Groudon another chance. I want him, though. We need him, though. He's just so good. We're going to go into Groudon. We have to go into Groudon. So I'm going to leak Groudon. And they have no weather control, so Rage Bolt is going to be a solid lead for us. Both of them, I really like. We need Roll Boom, and then we're going to go Blaze Kin. Groudon. I, I don't think I'm going to use Blades on it. Blades and Origin Pulse have just not been my friend in this game. I feel like I miss them, like, maybe 30% of the time. Actually, more than that. I should say, like, 50% of the time, I think I'm missing them. Maybe even more than that. They're 85 accuracy, which means 85% of the time. You should be landing them. And I'm not landing them 85% of the time. Land up 0% of the time. This is just absurd. But they end up going into that fish thing. I don't really know what it does, to be honest here. And going into that Pokemon right there. What is that Pokemon? Miraidon. I couldn't even think of his name. Alright, so we're sitting here. He is going to go Electric Seeds. Kind of cool. And we're going to set a Drought. We're going to have Protosynthesis. So, I mean, most likely he's probably going to Thrasilize. But I think we just change up terrain here. I really just think we're going to, like, roll a boom. And do I, I I have to go into blades here. I have to go into blades. I'm I'm gonna stick with blades. I'm gonna stick with blades and swap into rule boom. I hate blades, man. I hate blades. Somebody just next time you guys build me a ground on team, just give me high horsepower instead. Just give me high horsepower instead. But then I'll probably be complaining that we don't have blades. It'll be like in a situation where I need a double hitting move to win the game. I'll be like, oh we don't have blades. And then blame it on that. But dude, blade sucks. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I feel like at least in Sword and Shield days, it hit way more for me. I've been missing it so much in Scarlet and Violet days. It's been, like, I hate it now. I just hate using it because I, I, I always feel like I'm going to miss. Always feel like I'm going to miss. Hopefully, we're going to change tides here in match number three and at least land some of these blades. He ends up withdrawing this Pokemon. I feel like you have to Terrastalize. He withdraws the fish. I don't really know what the fish does. I'm not even not going to sit here and lie. He's going to go into Wu Chen. So Wu Chen's come out here. Can he not Terra? No, obviously you're trash slicing. So he's gonna lower physical attack. Um, what terror type you got? Fairy? Electric? No way, it's electric. Bug. Bug terror. All right, we got heat crash for that. But bug terror comes in hot here. A little bit of bug action. He goes for a parabolic charge, which won't affect me. Actually, that was just kind of like a 
Odd choice of moves there. Real odd choice of moves. And Blades is missing! Why are we missing Blades? We were just missing so many Blades. Um, Wo Chen is kind of annoying. I think I'm just going to go for a Heat Crash here and not even go for Fake Out. I'm just going to U-Turn Pivot. Just so we can have terrain control later. But yo, we, that's that's four blades in a row we missing. I know it hit on the woe champ, but still, I count that as a miss. If I'm not double hitting, I count it as a miss. Rough, man. It's real rough. It's brutal out here. Olivia Rodrigo said it best. It's brutal out here. Brutal. I mean, bug terror type on Mirana. Kind of kind of odd, though. But I mean, it's working here. Maybe he crashed, though. Maybe I should have fire terrored here. Maybe I should have fire terror, but I think saving our terror should be good. He ends up protecting me right on. No big deal. I mean, we're U-turn pivoting, and then, I mean, I could just bring back out my, my Protosynthesis Pokemon if I wanted to, and I think that's my best bet. Maybe just terrestrializing him. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, U-turn doing some damage. U-turn doing some damage on the Wu Chen. We like that. Um, could you go to Blaziken? Blaziken's decently fast. Um, I could maybe try to set up a Swords Dance. I could maybe try to set up a Swords Dance and go for Blades again. Could go for Blades again. Do we want Redemption on Blades? I kind of do. I kind of do. Who's my best interest? We're going to go to Blaziken. I want Redemption on Blades. I want Redemption on Blades. We're going to look for to get a speed boost with Blades. can just protect them. And you went for Giga Drain. Actually, oh man, I forgot you saw it to attack. I actually hurt the soul. That did some damage. I think from here, we're just going to honestly just heat crash into Wo Chen. Actually, let's heat crash into you. I'm not really too worried about Wo Chen. I'm just going to protect. I mean, Blades can do some big time damage. So he ends up withdrawing. Of course, you withdraw. You're right on here. And Blades can just waste a turn because I know you're going after Groudon. It's going to KO me. Heat crash can do negative five. I should have went for the Blades. <laughs> I should have went for the Blades. You do get attack drop of Blades, can, which kind of sucks. I mean, I do have White Herb, though, which is awesome. He ends up withdrawing Wo Chen. So who are you going into here? It's going to be that fish again. So he goes for a double swap, which is no big deal. I mean, you're forced to fake me out. I could pretty much go into a sword stance next turn. If he crash flies, it does like negative five. Actually, a little bit more than I, than last time. Or a little bit more than I thought. Okay, so this fish is kind of scary because I don't really know what it does. Do we think it has... I mean, if it has a water move, it's not doing too much damage. I'm going to go for blades if I can. I'm going to go for Sword Sands here. Blades and Sword Sands. Look to set up our Blaziken here. Especially with two Pokemon that are weak to fire. Sword Sands would be lovely. Sword Sands would be gorgeous. This fish is scaring me, though. This fish is scaring me. So I still have two good Pokemon in the back. And he's going to fake out the ground. That was pretty obvious. And we go for the Sword Sands. So we're getting that nice lovely plus two boost. Blaziken with the Sword Sands. Groudon's going to flinch, and what's this fish going for? It's going to soak me. Now water type? Right? Now water type. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that, that helps me a little bit. He's here to soak for me right on. We get a speed boost now. And I think we just punch up on what's it called. Actually, we outspeed you. So, I mean, going into blades is fair. I can hope that we can land blades and then just go close combat into this thing. I'm cool with this turn. I think we're sitting good as long as I land this blades into the Incineroar slot. Okay, I mean, you swapped anyway. That's fine. No big deal. We can miss it now. We're probably going to miss it now. And you're going to go into Wochen. Yep, Wochen flies out here. Tablets of Ruin. We are plus two on Blades again, which is huge. Close combat's going to fly. Our defense is going to drop, but we still do some nice damage. Blades, can you land here? Need a little bit of Blades action here. Need a little bit of Blades action. But you have a Jack button. It's gonna bring back out Incineroar. That would make me only plus one. Let's see. Unless you bring out Miradon. If you bring out Miradon, it's gonna be a perfect time for us to swap Groudon. Let's see. He's either gonna intimidate me and then fake me out, or you're gonna go into Miradon. All right. So not a bad third third battle so far. Who you got going here? You're gonna go back into Incineroar. So we're only plus one on Blaziken now. Attack shop's gonna come out here, and am I missing blades? Can't land a blades. Can't land a blades for nothing today. And I couldn't even hit the Pokemon that I wanted to. 
This is off. This is brutal, man. This is real brutal. This is bad. This is just like annoying me. It's so bad. So I get a nice lovely speed boost. I think I might bring back a grand strength. I don't know. Um, Giga Drain will KO us. You're gonna fake out one of us. Honestly, let's just double protect. Let's just double protect. There still feels we're doing some nice damage, but he crashes in close combats, all that good stuff. We're just gonna double protect. This is just bad. Like, dude, our game should be like over real quick. We are killing it today. Just Groudon sucks. He stinks. I don't want him anymore. Like, let's trade him in. He's on the trade block. Whoever wants him. It's like fantasy football around here. We're trading Groudon. Who wants Groudon? He's been terrible these past couple weeks. He's been awful. So he ends up not going for a fake out. He chooses to go for knockoff Giga Drain. Um, we get that speed boost. I'm going to close combat into that slot. We can drop a defense because we are fast on the field. He crashed. I think should KO. I would hope he crashed in KO. I got a plan, guys. I have full faith in my blades. There's no way blades is missing again. We're going to blaze kick this thing down. We're going to go for blades. So I was going to close combat the Incineroar, but I just didn't think that's the play. I think just, I don't think uh, he crashed. He crashed might not be able to KO this. Uh, he crashed might not be able to KO the Wochen. So I think going into the blaze kick is, is better in our options. But if blades misses here, I think I'm just going to get off. I think I'm just going to get off. <laughs> <laughs> but he has a swap in Incineroar, so that actually works in our favor. You're gonna go back into Fishy, who has Regenerator, it looks like. And Blaze Kick should finish you off. It does. It's kind of funny how Blaze King does like a knee instead of a kick when he's used Blaze Kick. And Blades. Oh my god, I thought it missed. I was like, Blades about to miss. But Blades hit! It hits. We get a speed boost. Um. Huh. What's our play here? Cause you're gonna throw back out Incineroar. No, you don't throw back out Incineroar. You do not. We're gonna swap Groudon for terrain all day. And Blazekin is just gonna go into a uh, ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam. a Blaze Kick over here, or do we just close combat the fish and K with the fish? I think Blaze Kick is definitely our best option. Just put it into the Mirai on slot. They might swap it to Incineroar, but. <laughs> in this case, we should be fine. We should be fine. We're just playing this one a bit sober. So I want to win this one. So I get out my Rillaboom. Grassy Surgeon. No terrain for him. So I'm surprised he didn't go into Incineroar there. And there's the withdrawal of you. So I'm going to be back to normal on my physical attack set, which isn't bad. I mean, taking Intimidates like crazy. And I mean, you could protect the Miratum, but I doubt you do. I doubt you do. Blaze Kicks in the fly. Still should chunk up some nice damage. It does. He's gonna go for a Parabox Charge, which is fine. We'll get back some HP. Actually, you will get back a decent amount of HP. And I am sitting here fast on the field. I mean, this is a simple Protect for Blaziken. Actually, it's not a Protect for Blaziken. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fake out the Miraidon. <coughs> and I'm just gonna close combat the, uh, the Incineroar. That's my play. Fake out me right on close combat and Cinema. All day. All day long. Because I'm pretty sure Rillaboom's faster, so we're just gonna get that fake out off. And hopefully he comes after the uh Rillaboom with their fake out. But if they just go after my my Blaziken in this instance, thinking I'm gonna protect, then we just get off free close combat. So there goes fake out into you. You're gonna flinch and he's gonna fake out into me. It's just a cancellation turn. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a drink. Need to get my water. So, flinch turns, cancel out. We can blaze kick here. I think we honestly just close combat this uh this incineroar and KO it. And then we just U-turn pivot. That's gonna be my play. You might even swap Incineroar again. You might even swap Incineroar again, but you could protect the uh me right on here, which could happen. I probably I honestly should have swapped Rollboom for Grout on here. And just blaze kick KO the uh me right on. But we're going to say bye-bye to Blaziken. 
Um, but I still think we're sitting fine. I mean, you can't control terrain anymore. You have this stupid fish as your last Pokemon. My blades has just been ugly. So Parabolic Charge, you survive. We do survive, and we're able to U-turn pivot, bring out the sun, and now we're fastest on the field. I can just simply attack this me right on. Cool. Cool, you're actually back up to full HP. Kind of crazy. All right, so I swapped my Robin back out here. This match is actually pretty long. Hope you guys are enjoying. Now we go back into Groudon, get my weather back, and Blaziken has been phenomenal today. I love that we chose to use it, and I loved even more that we're killing it with it. Looking like a 2-1 winning record, but probably should have been a 3-0 record. God dang Blades, man. I don't even want to be reminded. Told you guys, if any guys want to trade in fantasy Pokemon, Groudon is on the trade block for me. Send me some trades down in the comment section down below. What do you guys got for me? Let me know, because I don't want this guy anymore. I do not want to want this guy. He's like a fantasy football player that has a one-yard rush, and then he gets stuffed at the goal line, and you're like, dude, you could have just got me seven points, but you got stuffed at the goal line. Like, It's just like, dude, come on, man. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. So much better than that. So from here... <clears throat> we are just gonna stick with blades because honestly it's kind of funny today and we'll go into a blaze kick <clears throat> blaze has been pitiful today he ends up protecting which is kind of smart and blaze kick's gonna get blocked and blades can at least land onto the fish pretty police I think that's what we gotta do. I think we just gotta be start being nice to the ground on, right? Dude, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I don't know what he wants. I don't know what you want me to do. This is a lot. Somebody count how many blades I missed today. How many blades have I missed today? That's another one right there. We're gonna go for blades again. This is just funny at this point. We're gonna go blades. We're gonna go blaze kick here. We got speed. I'm surprised this... Fish didn't attack my Blaziken with any type of move here. He just went for a soak. Blaziken gonna fly through here. It's gonna KO one shot. No problem in sun. No problem in sun. And can we land a Blades? Please, to end the video. The Jeans community is sitting here wanting to see a Blades. Yes. Got one. We got one to fall. We got one to fall. He's gonna go for another soak. This thing is just useless. I don't even know why they brought this Pokemon. Their whole plan was definitely just to soak my Pokemon and just go into Parabolic Charge. But it just didn't work out. Not even not even close, it didn't even work out. Not even close. So at least we end today's video with a uh, a Prince of Place Blades land. It's just good for us. It's good for the morals here. But we're going to go close combat. We're going to go for Blades again. Our opponent should just cancel the match. If not, this fish is getting punched in the face by his Blaziken five times. And finally, they cancel the match. We go 2-1. Awesome video with Blaziken. Blaziken was phenomenal today. Obviously, I'm going to give that thing the MVP. Groudon gets the LVP, the least valuable player. He's going in trash. Like I said, he's on the trade block. Let me know what Pokemon you guys are going to trade me in Fantasy Pokemon in the comment section down below. That's so funny. I'm actually excited to see you guys' trades or you guys' comments. It's going to be hilarious. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.